This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Raw is a masterpiece, plain and simple. When you look at some of my favorite films of all time, you see movies about talking foxes, animated superhero families, things that don't typically make you want to throw up. So when I watched Raw, a very bloody film about a cannibal, and realized it's one of my favorite movies I've ever seen, even I was like, hey, what's going on here? If you don't already know, Raw is a film that came out in 2017 about a girl who is going off to veterinarian school as a vegetarian. As a hazing, she hesitantly eats raw rabbit kidney and spirals into a series of cannibalistic acts. Yeah, it's gross, but as I stated earlier, it's a masterpiece to me. I say to me because I understand the term masterpiece is defined differently by everyone, and I also understand a lot of people, for good reason, hate this film. That being said, I will quickly gloss over how I define this term. I think a masterpiece is a flawless film that tackles its central idea in an incredibly unique and engaging way, while simultaneously making me connect to it personally. Pretty simple, right? Not too many boxes to check, but I've come to realize that a lot of films are great at tackling ideas, but not enough do so in a straight up bizarre and unique way. It also depends with each film. There could sometimes be films that do check all these boxes, but somehow never seem to hit me in any special way. My point is, Raw fits in this category. It is a masterpiece. I went into this film expecting some gross stuff, obviously, and I, I definitely got that. As expected, after first watching it, I couldn't stop thinking about the pure, disgusting, and uncomfortable vibe of it. It gave me a stomach ache, and I couldn't get what I had seen out of my mind. But for some reason, it intrigued me. And so obviously the next day, I showed it to my friend. I expected after viewing the film twice in 24 hours to never want to look back again, but for some reason it still left me thinking about it, but in a different way. After this viewing, I still had some sort of interest towards it, even though I was completely used to the gore at that point. It got me thinking, what about this weird ass movie has me so intrigued with it? Why do I love this? And then it hit me. I connected with this character on a surprisingly deep level. I think half the horror of the film is of course the gore, but the other half is this fear of giving in to a norm in college or through family for the sake of a reputation. It's a fear of never truly gaining a sense of independence, where your personality is constantly associated with something that isn't you. Having a bad reputation in your family or university is a terrifying idea for a lot of young people, and because of that a lot of people give in to what is acceptable or what everyone else does. This movie of course takes the extreme approach of what can go wrong when giving in to norms. I don't think a lot of people are out here turning into cannibals, but I think by approaching this idea in this way, it becomes incredibly effective. I like this film even more when I start picking apart why the director, Julia D... I don't, I don't want to mess that up, chose cannibalism. I think it's an interesting and effective choice for two reasons. One, I think cannibalism allowed for the director to depict these characters like animals in a more realistic sense. Many of the shots and ways the actors act depicts them as hunched over as though they are wild animals. How does this correlate with what I said earlier? Well, I think that when we are in a sense released into the real world as we go off to college, we are treated and act like wild animals with no clear leader of any kind and the freedom to make decisions on our own. I think a lot of the fear and anxiety that this film gives off comes from this lack of control that comes with the perspective of a wild animal in an unfamiliar environment. My second reason for why cannibalism was an interesting choice by the director comes with a theory. Cannibalism is, as most of you probably know, people eating other people. That being said, I feel as though it's fair to assume cannibalism in this film is being used as a symbol to represent young adults capturing and taking the personalities of others as a way of coping with the fear of independence. It acts as a form of coping with self-consciousness and, to an extent, self-hatred at this age. It is brought up in the film that once a dog takes one bite, it's most likely going to want more. That is saying that once a human obtains that feeling of being someone other than themselves, once they feel that comfort of not having to be who they truly are, they become addicted. As the film progresses, Justine continues to spiral into this addiction, spiraling further away from separating herself from her family's background, and spiraling further away from truly being Justine. It's for this reason that you don't get films like Raw that often. You don't get a movie that on the surface has this level of grossness to draw the viewer in, but on its inside has a captivating message that a lot of people can genuinely connect to. It's a coming of age story, but with cannibalism, and it's done amazingly well. I mean, it doesn't get much crazier than that. As dramatic as this is about to sound, this film has reminded me why I love filmmaking. Sometimes the more movies I see, the more I think to myself, man, sometimes it feels like I'm watching the same idea done in a slightly different context. It feels like somehow we as a society are running out of interesting ways of telling great stories, and it's sad. And then a movie like this comes along and provides us with something I can truly never say I've seen before. Something that makes me want to puke and cry at the same damn time. 
It somehow had me watching this girl eat a finger and go, I mean, I mean, yeah, we've all been there. But in reality, I've never been close to there. Between the breathtaking cinematography, the amazing performances, the captivating gore, the acoustic slash electronic score that works so damn well, and of course the writing and story, there is no doubt that Raw is in my top five films of all time. And boy, oh boy, I cannot wait to force everyone I know to sit down and watch it. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked the video and I hope you check out Raw. But before you head out, I want to give a quick thank you to this week's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace, if you don't already know, is a great place where you can go to build a website. Uh, whether you're looking to build a blog, online store, portfolio, you name it. Whatever it is you are trying to make, uh, it's going to look pretty great because they have a wide selection of award-winning designer templates that look sleek, professional, it's going to be fantastic. For those of you who aren't that great at building websites and maneuvering all of that junk, they do have 24-hour customer service just in case you need the help. It's really a great place. I used it to make my own website, which has led to a variety of different opportunities. It's been awesome. If you check out the link squarespace.com slash Carson, you'll get 10% off your first purchase. So seriously, it's a great deal. It's a great place. Check out Squarespace. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.